Hi everyone, it's Suzanne. Welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to wrap up all the Family Reads books that we read in December. I did our first Family Reads TBR, so a list of all the books to be read in the month of December, in the beginning of the month, and I'll link that down below. And we read a lot of those books, not all of those books, but enough definitely to talk about. All right. Now, the first two are from the Osborne books that I listed. This is Christmas Around the World, and I love Osborne books. And this is The Nutcracker. So this is part of their Young Reader series. And to be clear, these are all books that we read together. So Vivian is not reading these books. We are reading them to her. It's our family read alouds. Again, The Nutcracker, Christmas Around the World. We read two chapter books this month. The first is Christmas in Camelot, and this is by the Magic Treehouse series, and I picked it because it was Christmas themed, but we love the Magic Treehouse series, and we're going through these a second time. Haven't heard about the Magic Treehouse series, you can certainly see the first video, but to keep it quite basic, Jack and Annie find a Magic Treehouse that has been there by Morgan Le Fay, and later becomes Merlin, takes them along, and they go on missions to do various things in history to find library books for the Camelot Library, all kinds of fun things. In this particular book, Jack and Annie, Jack and Annie get an invitation to go to Camelot at Christmas and discover it's a very bleak, dreary place. It turns out all the joy and happiness is gone from Camelot and Jack and Annie have to go to the other world to find specific water to bring the joy back to Camelot. It's a really sweet story. One of the things I love about these series, they take either legends, so myths, in this case, Camelot, or, or they take times in history and facts from real history and people and put that in a fictional story, which is a great way for children to learn about people and places and things in history in a way that is fun. And you can certainly use it like we do as a jumping off place for further study. Uh, we didn't this month, of course, it's Christmas. We had so much on the go, but I did want to get it in there. Okay, the next book is a, another chapter book, and this is Geronimo Stilton, A Very Merry Christmas. Again, there was learning happening in this book as well because it was all taking place in New York. These books are really fun to read. Look, I just want to show you the inside in case you're not from. Oh, look, there's the boroughs, five boroughs of New York. Uh... They're just really colorful and look, the Empire State Building. Now, Geronimo Stilton in this book went around famous landmarks in New York. Uh, oh, the Brooklyn Bridge. I just wanted to show you some of the writing. It's just fun and colorful. Yeah. Vivian read this with her dad. They like to read Geronimo Stilton and... I scored a huge haul of these right before Christmas off Facebook Marketplace. So I'm planning a th thrifting video in January to show off those books as well as some others. But again, they love those. I was really happy that this ended up being about New York. I didn't initially know that when I picked it out. I was just picking out Geronimo Stilton books about Christmas. And it turned out uh, the universe took care of that in a great way because we did a study on New York this month and Vivian and I did a New York Christmas themed vlog. Oh my gosh, it was so much fun. I love it. I think it's a beautiful vlog. It just touches my heart every time I watch it. It'll definitely be one for our personal archives. But if you have any fascination with New York like we do, you might enjoy that as well. I'll leave it linked below. And in the vlog, we do Christmas activities based on a New York theme. We read books based on New York as well as play some games, that sort of thing. It's a lot of fun. If you decide to do it next year based on the New York themed items I listed in the other video, definitely add this book to it. I would. It's A Very Merry Christmas by Geronimo Stilton. I have three more books to show you that we read and these were novels. And I am going to say two of them were on audiobook. I mentioned that two of them were on audiobook because I've been asked already numerous times, how do we read so much? And a big part of that is audiobooks. For example, we listened to The Vanderbeekers of 141st Street. And 
by the way, this is by Karina Jan Glasser. And we started listening to the audiobook for this when we were doing our New York themed Christmas party because we could listen to this while we made Christmas ornaments and that sort of thing. And then we, of course, got hooked. It is our second time listening to this audiobook. I love this book. And this is about a family in that live in Harlem and they are being evicted in December by their landlord. And the kids decide that they're going to change the landlord's mind. He lives on the top floor of the brownstone they're in. It's a feel good. This book is always compared to the Penderwicks, and which is another large family and very wholesome. It's funny, every time I read this book, and I'm going to do a video about this book as well as the Penderwicks and a couple other ones I discovered that have the same feel. It gives me the same feeling as I get when I listen to or read Little Women. Obviously, it's not all about women. Some of the children are boys, but the feeling of camaraderie between the siblings and the fact that they're usually quite creative and do a lot of fun things, it's, it's a lot of fun. That essence is similar, which I really appreciate and tune into when I'm reading or listening to these books. Okay, so that is The Vanderbeekers of 141st Street. The next novel that we read on audio or listened to on audio it was a green glass house and this is by Kate Milford and the premise of this book is Milo is the adopted son of innkeepers and this is a smuggler's inn and all these people mysteriously arrive right before Christmas when he thinks there's going to be nobody and all a bunch of mysterious things happen and he tries to solve the mystery with the cook's daughter and it has a wonderful ending I'll just say this when I asked Vivian which was her favorite book. First, I asked her of these two, which her favorite book was. She hesitated. That's a hard for, question sometimes for a seven year old. But she chose this one. And the reason she said was because of the ending. So I'm not gonna spoil that for you, but that made the book for her, the ending specifically. I think what she said was if they had had an ending similar to that in the Vanderbeekers, that might've been made it even harder to choose or she might have chosen the Vanderbeekers, but she loved the ending. So I'm not gonna spoil that, you have to read it. And it's enjoyable all the way through. You'll totally enjoy the read, no worries. The final novel that I'm gonna mention is Royal Dell's Matilda. When I asked Vivian to choose, which was her favorite of the three when I added Matilda, she there was a look of pain and strain come across her face. She could not choose, she said, maybe this one. But then she pointed, she hesitated. She couldn't choose, I told her she didn't need to. But Roald Dahl is one of her favorite authors. As I mentioned in our TBR video, she specifically asked me to get more Roald Dahl books because she loves them and finds them really funny. Anyway, we loved reading this book. We've seen the movie a couple times, as I'm sure many of you have. And you read the book, it's fun to see pieces you missed, although the movie really stayed close to this for sure. There wasn't anything of note that was majorly different between the book and the movie, but when you read the book after you've seen the movie, you totally see the characters in your mind that were in the movie. And I asked Vivian if it was the same for her, and she said yes, which of course, why would it be any different? I did love reading this and look forward to next month's Royal Dow book because we're reading one a month until we've gone through all of his books. And tune in for that because I have decided, as I mentioned in my 2021 goals, that we're definitely doing the family reads every month. I will share with you at the beginning of the month what books we plan to read as a family. And then I'll do a wrap up like this one at the end of each month. Okay, that's everything. I would love to know what books you plan on reading aloud with your children. Or if you plan on reading any special books of note, please let me know down below. I would love to hear and share on that with you. Thank you for watching. I will see you with another bookish video soon.